Francis, for those that don't know me, I am one of Hannah's friends from sixth grade, so we've known each other for a while. Um, as, as everyone's kind of doing their speeches, I really just wanted to kind of reflect on the character of these two people. I mean, you hear words like ambitious, passionate, loving, godly. I mean, how, how much of a tribute to you guys in who you are as individuals and who you are as a couple. It's, it's truly touching, and we're all so happy to be a part of, the, a part of this. But with that comes parents who are dedicated and have helped raise you. So proud parents as well, and I hope you are, because these are amazing, amazing individuals that both families did an amazing job raising. So hats off to you. So I've only seen Hannah cry three times in my life. And if anyone knows Hannah, you know that that's kind of a rare sight, right? So the first time I saw her crying was she was laughing so hard. The second time I saw Hannah cry was we lived on a farm, and so Hannah would often come over, and we were riding a golf cart, and she fell off. And Hannah's very tough. She fought through it. We got back into the house, and she's like, hey, my shoulder, like, it really hurts. It really, really, really hurts. And I'm like, Hannah, you're fine. Fight it off. We'll get through this. And then she starts crying. No, it really, really hurts. Turns out it was actually very, very hurt. <laughs> and then the last time I saw Hannah cry was when she was sitting on my couch and she starts tearing up and she says, Francis, I don't know how to describe it, but I just love Joey so, so much. It was really touching to me because like I said, I had only seen Hannah cry a few times and seeing her cry that last time affirmed for me for the rest of her life that this man was going to make her the happiest woman ever. So I'm so excited for tomorrow. I can't wait to watch you both walk down the aisle and I can't wait to stand by your side. So everyone, please raise your glass. Toast to the beautiful couple um, and let's get this girl married. <laughs> Waiting for the moment to arrive Waiting for the moment to arrive I was waiting for you And I wouldn't miss it for you My first memory of Joey 10 years old, so we're moving to Mayfair. I'm coming from a, a neighborhood. All my friends were there, all my boys were there. And I said, my mom and dad said, Mom, do any of my friends live in this neighborhood? She said, yeah, that nice boy Joey lives there. And I said, God, that's all you give me is Joey? Because that's the best you can do? <laughs> I was not, I, it was a bad trade for all parties involved. But um, ended up moving there, came over to his house, played touch football. Besides him being a Broncos fan, being a Cowboys fan, I got over that. But um, it was a, it was the start of the foundation. Then we met Hannah a few, uh, about four years ago, St. Patrick's Day. I knew she was the one. I mean, they hit it off immediately. You know, it, it, was, it was great from the get-go. Y'all gonna make a very happy married couple, and I wish y'all nothing but the best. <laughs> 